Welcome back to Make Something Today. I am Taylor Farman, and today what I'm gonna do is walk you through step-by-step step how I build this Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K rig, what I like, what I don't like, and some things that I might change about it. This camera starts off pretty small. I mean, it's a weird size. It's this weird little hot dog shaped thing, but I chose the small rig half cage with the quick release plate in the bottom. You can also use your own 501 PL plate. This one comes with it. It's a little more compact and it also has on the bottom, it might be hard to see right there, but maybe over here on the bottom, it has these two little kind of, I don't know, growths <laughs> that actually stick into the bottom of the camera. I don't know, it's probably hard to see there. And then on this side, it just has a little locking mechanism. And then I personally went with the Metabones 0.64 XL, um, and this is a micro four thirds to EF. Now the reason that I went with this one is so I could get the widest natural angle on my lenses. I think what people have told me is if you're using the EFS lenses a lot, like the Sigma 18 to 35, or other um, you know, APS-C style sensor stuff, that the 0.71 is actually better. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what um, I found in my research. So this thing on there. This Metabones adapter will bring this F4 24105 down to F2.6. So it's not highly suggested that you would do it at 2.6, but because uh, it's gonna be a little softer probably, but you at least have that option if you want to try it out. Now we need something to record to for this run and gun setup that I like. So my best option for that is a little T5 Samsung SSD. Um, and what I have on the bottom of here is a little Condor Blue quick release attachment. So you can put this thing wherever you want. When I'm running a gun, I like to be able to hold the handle. I just can hopefully see it. I will attach it right here. So now that I've got that part on, then I can just slide the SSD on there like that. So for me, I, I love this as a run and gun setup. I've got a wide-ish lens with stabilization. You know, I've got a battery in here that'll last me 30 minutes, and I've got one terabyte SSD on there that I can film with. Let's go ahead and move on to a little bit bigger setup. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I want to attach this base plate. I personally mount to Manfrotto, and so I wanna put on this 501 PL long quick release plate. Um, let's go ahead and put the rails in. These are small rig. I forget what size these rails are, maybe nine inches. So it looks pretty good right there, but what else do we want to add on? Let's say we want more power. So I bought this Indie Pro V-mount battery plate that it actually has a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera power cord that comes out of it. So you don't have to waste your other D-tap. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so to attach this, just literally simply mount it onto the rails. Like so. And then I'll just kind of tighten that down a little bit. And then as far as the V-mount batteries, this is a BP95, which is great for flying. So you can still take these on an airplane. Don't buy the big ones if you want to fly. I had to return my other bigger ones for that exact reason. And these ones were pretty cheap, you know? Like these things came with the battery and charger for a hundred bucks each. So that thing is locked in and loaded. So, like I said, you can have it flat like that or you can have it attached down. And just adding that V-mount battery, you can take this thing out pretty much all day. Okay, the next thing is let's put a monitor on. So I personally went with the Atomos Shinobi monitor. Uh, it's five inch. It has a lot of different, you know, functionality to it. I'm gonna attach it kind of to the front of the handle right here. 
So initially I'll just get it kind of tight like that. And then I saw this little trick where you just put the Allen tool inside the little hole on here and then tighten it like that. And then you can get it really nice and tight without, you know, jacking anything up. So there's that. Mm, looks kind of tall, doesn't it? A little too tall for me. I don't know if I like that. It seems too tall. And then we could also come out here and do something more like that. Yeah, I kind of like that more. So obviously we can put our SSD back on and run that from the side. Or, so this is a four terabyte Samsung 860 Evo SSD. These aren't super cheap, but when you go down, if you compare the one terabyte T5 SSD and you compare it to the um, to the one terabyte 860 Evo, these are cheaper, um, terabyte to terabyte. So I went ahead and bought a little USB 3.1 enclosure and that's really nice. So typically what I'll have is a little Velcro thing that I attach it to the backpack here and then boom, you know, I've got four terabyte SSD attached to here. Um, just make sure you put enough Velcro so it's not like completely crazy. But so this is the Tilta Nucleus N, 229 bucks. Comes with all the stuff that you need. Um, you know, I'll just slide this thing on here. Make sure that you get a V power, a V mount battery that has uh, USB support. Cause then you can just power this little nucleus with, uh, with your V-mount battery. So again, it's not all like perfectly set up, but you get the idea. Follow focus over here. It's attached to this rail. The thing that I like about this rig is boom. Ah, it's free, you're free. You can also remove this, uh, the whole top hat of this thing. And then put your Condor Blue quick release attachment onto the top of your camera. So one of the reasons I like having the SSD mount up here is because if I want to take this thing out, I now have my SSD still attached on there. Whereas before, you know, you take the handle, if you have it attached to the handle or somewhere to the cage, it's all attached to the cage. So you can't go out and get some more quick pickup shots if you need it for whatever reason, or to go handheld or to, you know, put it on a stabilizer or something like that. Anyway, this is the rig setup. I know there's kind of a lot of things going on, but I do like you can, it is very modular. I mean, that's just, that's kind of the name of the game, it seems like, in filmmaking nowadays. So, um, things that I would maybe change about this would be, I'd like to be able to go on the shoulder. I don't usually go on the shoulder, so it's not super important to me, but it would be kind of nice, because, you know, even without the monitor and the top handle, I mean, thing's pretty heavy. Um, other things I would change, I'd maybe just get a normal follow focus so I don't have to deal with the wireless and the batteries and all that and all that stuff. So that's another thing I would change. I might get a small HD monitor instead of the Atomos Shinobi. I'd like to have a little bit bigger monitor uh, than five inches. The five inch monitor is great for run and gun, but sometimes I just feel like I need a little bit more. So if there's a monitor you'd recommend, you can leave that below. Um, again, if there's anything else that you think I could do better with this rig or things that I could change, please let me know. I've attached a Google sheet below that has the description and the item and price of everything you see that you've seen on this table anywhere and also some extra things that I haven't shown you as well. So that shows you the full price breakdown of everything that I just shown you. The reason I wanted to do that was because when I was putting this together, I was mostly flying blind. I mean, there was a few people that had these rigs that, you know, they were like, oh, you should do this and get that. But then there's all these little 
things I feel like that can make it better uh, but can also make it a little bit trickier and more confusing because you have to add all these things on so I hope that 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 Google sheet below will help you out if you're looking for the right things to buy for your rig um, again if there's anything you think I should get or things I should change about it I'm open to that feedback uh, you can leave a comment below but thank you guys for watching. I hope this has helped you in your journey to rig up your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera.